You did it, didn't you? You've decided to get into the sneaker reselling game. Congrats! So, what now? Which brand should you go to for your first drop? If you start with sites that are hard to crack, you might feel discouraged from all of the L's that you're gonna get. If you'd rather start with a bang, stick around. In today's video, we'll break down the differences between the most popular shoe stores and reveal the easiest sneaker copping target. Okay, so you've done some digging around Reddit sneaker groups or sneakerhead channels here on YouTube. Aside from the usual suspects like Nike and Supreme, you've probably run into these names. Foot Sites, Shopify, and Demandware. But what exactly are they? Shopify and Demandware are e-commerce platforms that host websites of popular sneaker brands. Shopify is home to many popular brands like Bodega, Bape, DSM, Undefeated, Concepts, Jimmy Jazz, and Kith. Demandware takes care of both Yeezy Supply and Adidas sites. Foot Sites is a term made for online retailers under the wings of the Foot Locker chain. These include Foot Locker, East Bay, Champ Sports, Foot Action, and Kids Foot Locker. The main reason why people often refer to these names instead of names of specific brands is simple. Sites that belong to the same, let's call it group, use the same bot protection and release methods. This means that you don't need a different setup for every single brand, just a good one that covers your desired group. But what about the Nike Sneakers app and Supreme? Today, we will ignore both of them as they are generally hard targets, especially for beginners. But which of the three, between Shopify, Foot Sites, or Demandware, would be the best for starting out botters? To try to answer this question, we've considered a few points. Size of the drops. The more pairs of shoes are released during a drop, the higher your chance of success is. Price of required setup. Some sites have very advanced bot protection. This naturally means if you want to take the V, you'll have to invest more money into your tools, like bots, proxies, and servers. Drop type. Depending on whether a site runs raffles, a queue or first come first served will impact how many tasks you'll be able to run at once. These are some of the main factors that are important to consider when evaluating the ease of botting. Of course, there is more to discuss. So let's dig into each of the popular targets to determine which one is the least difficult to crack. Third place goes to Shopify. I'll be blunt. If you're just starting your sneaker copping journey, Shopify is probably not the first place that you'll want to visit. Now, let me explain. Shopify releases their sneakers in a first come, first served type of way. So the number of pairs in a drop is also usually pretty low. This means that to get your desired kicks, you have to act super quick. And for that, you're gonna have to get some truly fast proxies. Then how about data center proxies? Those are cheap and super fast, right? Unfortunately, DC proxies just won't do. Because of Shopify's pretty heavy bot protection, you're better off with ISP proxies that are both fast and look like they come from real users. ISP proxies are more expensive than DC proxies, but you can definitely find reasonably priced offers. If you wanna know more about the best sneaker proxies, then check out this video here. With Shopify drops, encounter a capture and you're gonna to have to solve it manually. And you'll need to do it rapidly. This is the main reason why Shopify drops tend to be, well, frankly, quite tiring. Of course, when you get your groove going, it's not impossible to successfully cop multiple pairs on the platform. Just because of Shopify's stressful nature, we wouldn't say that it's the easiest target for when you're starting out. Second place goes to Demandware. Today, we'll focus on Yeezy supply more than on Adidas, as Yeezy drops tend to be more anticipated. Of course, the more anticipated the sneaker release, the more money you can expect when reselling. Yeezy uses a splash screen, also called the waiting room drop system. This means that all of the users are put in a waiting room and then it's a first come, first served type of deal. The waiting room usually opens up 15 minutes before the drop. The drop happens at 9am EST, although sometimes they can happen as early as 7 a.m. To be put through the sale page, you'll need a high V3 capture score. This basically means that to cop multiple pairs, you'll have to get multiple email accounts with previous user activity. To generate that activity, or to warm up the emails, you're gonna need capture proxies and tools like AYCD OneClick. We're actually going to do a video about getting bulk emails soon. And if you don't wanna miss out on that and other sneaker related content, then you best hit that subscribe button. So you do need to make sure that you have a rather costly arsenal of tools ready before the drop. But once you do, you can actually kind of relax. 
Drops on both adidas.com and Yeezy Supply are not as stressful as on Shopify's platform. If you have the right kind of setup, it'll do the job for you. Of course, you might encounter some problems like proxy bands along the way, but there'll be no need to solve complicated captures manually. Okay, so first place goes to Foot Sites. Foot Sites uses the same drop method as Demandware Sites. You are put in a queue, and after you get through the queue, you can try to get your new kicks. However, unlike on Yeezy Supply, you don't need a high V3 capture score. So no extensive lists of pre-warmed up quality emails are required. This makes the site easier for botting and running multiple tasks simultaneously. But you won't completely escape captures even on foot sites. To deal with them, it's best to use services like CapMonster or 2Capture. Bots usually have these services integrated. If not, then they'll probably have an AYCB tool that has a direct integration to those services. So don't worry about additionally opening up your wallet. Drops on foot sites last a bit longer than other sites, usually around 30 minutes to an hour. These sites are also known for being generous in numbers of pairs that they release. So it's not like Shopify where you have to worry about speed when botting. If you seriously decided to cop sneakers, you should join a cook group either way. But especially when you're targeting Foot Locker brands, since these sites restock randomly. So go get some decent proxies, a compatible bot, join a reputable cook group, and you're ready to go. This is my finished ranking of easiest sneaker copping targets. Do you agree with the list? Let me know in the comments. Your opinion does mean a lot. But before you go, don't forget to check out our best sneaker proxies video, and I'll see you in the next one.